Sometimes I get a colour scheme, it'll be from a from a, a fucking pair of trousers. I did a piece that was from my ex's trousers. Honestly, like <laughs> one one morning, I think it was one morning or evening, we was just like we was lying on the bed and just like, oh, I'm gonna wear these tomorrow or whatever. And I just clocked them and I was like, let me take a picture of them. <laughs> In lockdown, like some mad shit happened in uh, just before lockdown, and I ended up um, studying colour. I mean, I was looking back at my shit, and I was just like, "Don't make sense." Like I painted so many pieces, and I'm not what what's not right. Something's not right, and right. that's when I started to like think about colour more. Yeah. So I was like, "What colours work with each other?" and I was like looking just at life, just at life. Just, mm. just you just look out the window mm. and see what's working. You know what I mean? And yeah. look at look at your clothes, and see what's working. Like sometimes I get a color scheme. It'll be from a from a, a fucking pair of trousers. I did a piece that was from my ex's trousers. Honestly, like <laughs> one one morning, I think it was one morning or evening. We was just like we was lying on the bed and just like oh, I'm gonna wear these tomorrow or whatever. And I just clocked them. I was like, let me take a picture of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. like some floral shit going on. What's the basic parameters of like? Because I, th- I would argue a lot of a lot of writers, whether it's whether it's from a perspective of depth and highlights, you know, the decal to the, you know, the the key line. It's like these things all make a difference in they how do. it jumps out of the wall. Definitely, definitely. And there's so this you know the, the the science is mad. Like there's so much to learn, man. Like I'm still on the only scratching the edge. Like the 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 main thing to do is is to uh, to try and keep the contrast. So you can use so many colors, but it's making sense with them. Like I did, um, I paint a lot with a guy called Ken, of Vegas from um, the West Midlands side. So mm-hmm. big up Ken. Um, I'll type Ken. Yes. All these new um, names. Go check them out on Instagram. You know it is for real, man. Yeah, don't just stay on this. Then you jump on and have a look. I mean, you got your multimedia setup. You know what you're doing. So we we started painting uh, together, and we made we paint some mad shit. He like he doesn't even he literally just turns up now. Like he, it's at that point where he's like he likes it. He, well, no sketches. He, he'll have a sketch, but he don't know what half the time he don't know what colours he's using until we get to the wall. Like, how many how many colours do you got? Okay, so this oh, no wait a minute wait a minute right so. <laughs> Black and white sketch, on it goes. So how much paint do you bring to the to the party? I'll normally figure out a colour scheme, um, like in the in the in the day or two before. Um and it can be anything from from like I don't know, sometimes we just use like ten colours. Mm. But but like the challenge is more so making mm. like something work with even more colours is even more fucking tricky. Yeah, bet. So I can't remember now. I think we, I might be wrong, but I'm sure like we did one that was nearly 40 colours in it. What? Yeah. What, what, scraps as well as? Full... Yeah, that's what it was. We like, he was like, oh, we ain't got a scheme. I was like, right, I'm going to just bring two bags of scraps. He's going to bring his bags of scraps. We rocked up. He's like, right, I'll mush the wall. You sort the colour yeah. schemes. So that's I'm like, so I'm sick. just stood there with like a fucking 150 cans of dregs on the floor. Just, and I made, we made like, well, I made like, um, I think it, because we, we only had, a little amount of each yeah, can as yeah. well. We just chopped the piece into into sections. So each section was a colour change. So it was a different... I think it... I can't remember if it was like eight colour schemes. Do what? That's mad. So it was about eight colour schemes. And a rainbow. And, and about... And, you know, and there's like however many shades in each colour scheme. So it was just bit like... Yeah, man, using up dregs. So it was about 40... I think it was about 40 cans, different colours, yeah. I said, well, okay, so you said 10 earlier, which I find this remarkably hard to believe. How do you create that fade? You know, listen, guys, what we're talking about here is a pedigree of character that I can only imagine. You'll look at the people around you. You go for full production events as well. You probably look around and see people. Do you ever feel like, yo, I'm glad I bought that many? Like, did you see this guy? He's just fucking rolled in with this and many stuff. Like, you're part of that fraternity where you're there to do the fucking job. Ten to me don't sound enough. How are you doing those fades and stuff like that? <laughs> I know there's a lot going on in that <laughs> certain sentence. Like, I need to know shit. Like, I don't go there for, for, like that. I, that for me, it's, it, again, it's just all, it's about me. 
It's just about me. I'm not. I don't care what anyone else is doing. I don't. But have you ever turned around and looked at someone and said, "Give me some"? Who do you that you've painted alongside that you're like? I didn't know he bought that many cans. Somebody you've no totally one. Enjoyed. No I one. Don't never. Th- or not Goldie never, Pulse? Any of them? No, I never think. I never, never ever thought about how many cans really? someone's bought. See, you, I guess I'm just kind of in my own little bubble. You know, I'm yeah. just like just thinking about what I'm gonna do. Like I don't really. I see graph, I don't watch it, do you know what I mean? Because I don't want to be influenced by it. Uh, it's so uh, easy to like subliminally pick shit up uh, from other people. That's why I'm still finding my own style. Mm. You, know I mean? you can't make style happen overnight. That's a journey. Yeah. That's that you that needs to find you, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. so I always think your your pieces kind of look like the inside of a car engine. <laughs> they kind of move. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know that slickness that the inside of a car has? You got that. I always feel like it's got that. There's a, there's respect, a real brother. grit to it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, respect, man. Yeah, I bet you've never heard that before. No, I haven't heard that before, man. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's the imagination. People talk about the colours a lot, but um, in a good way and in a bad way. You know, people will say... What, you think it's too much? Nah. People say, Yo, you, you hide behind colours or whatever. So every now and again, I'll go out and paint a one colour field, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. just like, boom, I'll post that up. Like, because it's all internet shit. You yeah. know what I mean? It's just, like internet kind of... It brought a lot to Graf and it fucking took a lot away from it. Yeah, because arguably you wouldn't be here. Yeah, yeah, we exactly. Be here. <laughs> we exactly. Be yeah, the, for, for like the meeting people and stuff, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Well, you know, everyone's just got an opinion, haven't they? And, yeah. they? and and they like to voice it, man. You know, what oh, I mean? they love to voice it. So, so yeah. So then you hide behind colours, but I could tell you, man, you try and paint a piece with forty colours. That's impossible. It's not I, easy. I, bro. It's not easy. Oh, for me, it's impossible. The whole idea of like, I don't know. I guess it depends where you're at. But like you say, if you really want to take it to the street, I'm pretty sure you could knock out something with four colours. I mean, no Yeah, different. yeah, I painted, um, I painted a... Well, I painted a piece of uh, four colour, but it, was, it wasn't... The detail wasn't in depth, so I'd just gone for a fade out from the middle. This was last week. Um, I rocked up at the spot, actually, as, and three, there was three guys there that I know, and they were just, like, leaving. And I didn't even know at this point if I was going to paint still anyway. I was just, like, just walking around with my paint on my back. I was in a right indecisive mood because I painted every day before and I was a bit tired. And then the um, guy says to me, um, just paint some of it. I was like, yeah, fuck it. That's all I needed. Fuck it, yeah. That's all I needed. Just paint some of it. Yeah. So I, I started motioning up. They, I started doing my outline. They left. Hour and a half later, I was done, man. Like, yeah. Some, so it, hour and a half. Uh, Yo, uh, like hour and a half, and it... It was um, it was it was a fade out from. It was black into purple, and then it had like a blue bar, faded out in the middle, and then a, a pink three D, which was obviously that's lovely. Three tones of pink. I always use three tones, if not four, for for the, to get the depth of the three D to make it make sense. And the, and the, I've seen it. I think I've seen it because you've got a white going through the pink as well, right? Little thin line of white. Am I right? Oh, it might be another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I put it on a story. I yeah, put it on a story. Yeah, I don't think I've posted it. Yeah, yeah. yeah Love yeah. it. Love it, yeah. I mean, but then again, and at the same time, it's the attention to detail that, that you bring to your pieces. There's one thing like being critiqued for anything, but when you make that shit look easy, which all the best people do, it's only when you stand in front of a thing and you're looking at it for what it really is, do you actually understand, actually there's a science behind this, there's been th- there's the ten thousand hours that I'm looking in front of right here. It ain't just a case of show up and do it mm. in an hour and a half. You know what I mean? There's mm. some lessons here, um, and that's what I love about writers like you, because you you make it look easier, right. because you've just gone and done the shit super right. quick. But it's all in the practice, isn't it? <laughs>